promised, uh, I had spoken to Mr. Parmod Sagar, the MD and CEO of RHI Magnesita. They believe that the debt will come down to around 400 crore rupees by the end of this fiscal, and also they're projecting revenues at around 4,000 crore rupees. I asked him a whole host of questions. Let's listen in to what he had to tell me. On domestic front, we foresee a growth of about the CGR 7 to 8% in line with the growth of steel industry, though we are thinking steel industry will grow at around 6% and we will add a little bit of uh, over and above uh, uh, growth than the market. Uh, speaking on long term, steel industry is expected to grow at a firm capacity about 6% CAGR. We are going to add 60 million ton of steel in the next five years' time. So uh, I think uh, there's no slowdown in domestic front. Yes, exports, it has been down by about 4 5%. In the first half, it is primarily because of uh, European slowdown coupled with the Russian-Ukraine war. But we expect to improve our exports in the next four or five years from 11 12% to 20 plus percent. Okay. All right. Uh, got that. Exports will move up. Uh, just a quick question. Exports is margin accretive or is it the same margins or is it a little lower? Uh, uh, if we talk about absolute value, it is uh, lower. But uh, at the same time, we don't have... a. Uh, SG&A cost, selling cost, etc. So in absolute term, it is average out. Got it, at par. You know, yeah. uh, Mr. Sagar, you have acquired two assets, the Dalmia OCL asset as well mm -hmm. as the high-tech asset. Could you right. update us in terms of the capacity utilization levels? The last reported number is around 50 to 55% approximately capacity utilization yeah. level. Yeah. So what is it as of now? And how do you see it scaling up, say, by the end of this year, moving into next year? As of now, it is at the same level of 55%. By end of this year, we think we will be adding up 10 to 15% capacity. And uh, in the uh, next, uh, say, three to five years' time, we will reach it to optimum level of 75 to 80% capacity utilization. Got it. All right. So as of now, 50%, 50, 55%, you see it scaling up to around 75, 80% in the next three to five years. What about pricing? You know, you were indicating at the end of the first quarter as well that maybe there'll be some weakness in pricing. Could you tell us how prices have moved in this fiscal so far? And also, do you expect further softening or have they bottomed out? In the first quarter, it's, there was about 4% uh, decrease in uh, selling price. It is primarily because of raw material is softening up. So we expect another 3-4% uh, reduction in selling price in the coming days. Okay, all right. What does this mean in terms of margins then? Uh, you know, I think uh, the last reported number was in mid-teens. You had a couple of one-offs as well, but roughly around 15, 15.5% on a consolidated basis is what you're doing. What should the margin guidance be from this quarter onwards? I think we will keep this uh, same margins level. Uh, we keep on saying 14 to 15% is a sustainable margin. So I still believe in that. The good part is this, we have improved margin in Dalmia in a very short term. From say single digit to double digit, we are at around 10 point something. And by end of this year, our target is take it 12% plus. Uh, but at the same time, when we go for volume, there will be a products which have a lower margin. So we will keep this 14-15% uh, as guidance. Okay, all right. Uh, Mr. Sagar, uh, the Dalmia unit in particular was in need of some capex. How much of that capex has been incurred? How much of that will you incur in FY24? And what does it mean in terms of your net debt position? You've raised some money from the market, so you've repaid some debt. But keeping in mind the capex plan, what will your debt look like, say, by the end of this fiscal? Okay, so as of now, we have not done any capex uh, in any Dalmia plant. What we are trying to do is uh, there are lo many low-hanging fruit with small you know, focus on many things. We can, you know, increase productivity, reduce the craft rate, etc. So that is a focus area for this fiscal and uh, next year onwards, we will do a capex of about 250 to 300 crores to modernize and, uh, you know, upscale the plants to RHA Magnesita standard. Uh, about debt, as of now, on 30th June, it was about 500 crores. And by end of this uh, calendar year, we aim to uh, bring it down to 400 crore. It is primarily for uh, working capital uh, and um, a little bit of um, 
you know, day-to-day uh, -day expenditures, but you know, not much. You know, Mr. Sagar, the street is a little bit cautious because the ROE and ROC is, uh, C is they have got down, diluted to around that 10% odd. Do, 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 really. do you see it move up from these levels? Yeah, it is already, you know, ROC is around 14 to 16% and uh, ROE is 11, 12%. It will remain like this because the base is so bigger now. Okay, so you it expect... Has already so you expect it to remain in that mid-teens to low-teens uh, is what you're telling us on the ROE and ROCA. Uh, you've given us a margin guidance of 14 to 15%, but for, in terms of revenue guidance for this year, what should it be? Around 4,200 crores approximately? I think it will be 4,000 crore plus minus because as I said, it, there will be some softening of selling price. So mm -hmm. I'm taking a bit of, uh, you know, cautious approach. It will be around 4,000 crore. All right. You know, because of the deal that you all did with Dalmia, they have a large chunk in the listed entity. And there are some rumors that probably they want to sell that, uh, you know, that 13-14% that they have. Have you heard anything? No, I, I don't have any clue. Probably Mr. Pni Dalmia is the right person to ask this question. But uh, whatever I heard from the market, uh, he is very happy with the situation. So you don't think he I wants to sell? No, I don't see. But he is the right person to ask this question. Mm. You know, at the parent level, Roan's Capital, they have gone ahead and acquired 30% stake in the parent entity. Could you tell us, uh, is, does that have any repercussions for the list, Indian listed entity? Because your shareholders will be wondering whether or not there is something in the offering. No, there will not be any change. There will be any repercussion in the legal entity India. Rather, I would say it will not have any impact in our global management team as well. Okay. All right. Final question before we let you go. I believe for the refractory industry on the whole, you have been at the forefront pushing for this PLI scheme. Could you explain it to us? You know, when will it be implemented and what are the benefits as well did, that you see? You see, as industry, uh, IRMA, Indian Refractory Manufacturers Association, we keep on uh, in touch with the uh, Ministry of Steel, uh, Secretary, Joint Secretary. We are talking about all these issues and... Uh, uh, we understand it will happen in 25, not next year budget, but next to next year budget. And uh, we are working on how we can leverage this uh, in PIL about, say, R&D facilities, equipments, whether the government can give some rebate on uh, duty or abolish the duty, give us some tax uh, holiday, um, reduce uh, duty on raw materials, uh, incentivize uh, local production, if we are doing something on sustainability, CO2 emission reduction, so mm -hmm. there can be some incentives in that case also. So these are the areas which we are working on with the, the other stakeholders. All right, that's one of the rare interviews from Marichai Magnisita. Well, remember, they haven't spoken, uh, you know, openly for the last six months or so. They are guiding for this year that revenues will be around 4,000 crore rupees. The acquired assets, that's the Dalmir refractory asset as well as high tech, they will slowly ramp up towards the end of this year. Margins will be in mid-teens and also debt. That was more than 1,200 crores. They've repaid close on 700 crores. It's come down to around 500 crores. And by the end of this year, it'll be at around 400 crores. Or importantly, they state that domestic demand is rock solid, driven by higher steel production. While in the exports market, there is some bit of slowdown. So that's only around 11% of their revenues, though they're looking to take it to around 20%. Or that was management of RHI Magnesita. Well, let's move on. Hotel ownership and management platform. Sami hotels made a sub due to a flattish start on exchanges, listing with a gain of close to around 6%. We earlier spoke to Mr. Ashish Jakanwala, uh, the chairman. I think um, what we'll do is we could slip into a short break. We'll come back and we'll continue focusing on the new listings as well as other stocks that are in focus. Stay with us.